Hi, this is Jonathan again. This is from Maestro. This is the traditional series OMH. I want to thank uh, Maestro Guitars, especially Hosan, for uh, passing me this guitar. He was uh, a demon that I tried this guitar because I've asked for 
uh, all mahogany guitar, you know, wh whatever mahogany guitars that they have. And he was kind of excited to uh, present me this one because this is all mahogany. Mahogany top, side, back, neck, everything is mahogany. Um, features a ebony fretboard with ebony bridge, unbleached nut and unbleached bone nut and unbleached bone saddle. Uh, nut with a 44 mm with a fret radius of 14 inches. Interesting, very comfortable. Right, these are open back tuners, really nice. Interesting headstock as most Maestro guitar has this sort of headstock. Oh, great guitar. You have nice um, herringbone on the side in a transparent pickguard. <laughs> That's a nice touch. I really, I really admire his ingenuity in this area because a lot of times you don't want to put like a pick guard because it's it's you know it just rob away the beauty of the guitar as it is. But with the inclusion of a, a transparent, uh, which is really easy to do in fact if you want to do it yourself. But you know this this really helps a lot. Um, guitar is really resonant. Um, I I felt that this yeah this resound really nice. You know really nice. Really, uh, it has a singing tone to it. And I have like poor experiences with mahogany guitars, but um, this one, yeah, this one and a couple of Ma the Martin uh, mahogany guitars are changed my mind because I always thought the mahogany guitars are, especially for acoustic guitars, are pretty like dark sounding, pretty warm sounding. There's no brightness to it, but I've been proven wrong. Yep, this guitar is just yeah, it's easy to hold. It's just a parlor size guitar, but it it, it has a a sound to it that. Um, that's really nice. You know, it, it doesn't lack too much of a lows because if you look at it, you thought, oh, okay, this guitar is probably lacking lows. But no, it has. It has that. And I can bet you, or I'm not supposed to bet, but I can, I'm pretty sure that um, this sound, this uh, this guitar really records well because it did record well on, on, on the demo that I did. And it, it, as far as recording is concerned, Nice guitar. Slap on an RRBX is an interesting guitar to, to perform with because it's light and you know it looks good on stage, I guess. Um, nice. Yep, I'm, I'm liking this guitar a lot. Right, so tell me what you think about this guitar and put your comment in the comment section down below. And this guitar is available uh, from my Stroke Guitars and it's about 1,595 US dollars. I'm gonna give you the price here with the conversion to SGD. Uh, Maestro has a shop in Peninsula, uh, in case you Singaporeans are interested, so you might just want to pay them a visit. Um, nice guitar to get, if you're into the parlor size guitars, right? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, and please join this channel, all right? Uh, and press that bell for a notification of any future videos that comes up. And please join uh, the patrons that support this channel. I want to thank each and every one of them. So in the meantime, uh, Christmas is coming. So, yep, I'll see you again next video. Guys, take care. Ciao.